Hello YouTube, my name is Vlad for iVlad.com and I will be showing you how to change serial number on your Macbook well basically on any Mac <sighs> this will not be quick and easy this will not be easy at all actually and uh, come to think about it uh, uh, I actually think that I don't want to do it but I do want to do it because it's making me nervous now this is my serial number that I have uh, off of my motherboard, it's a new motherboard that I bought well actually today and I thought that it would be actually easier to change uh, the serial number I don't know, with a software or something like it but unfortunately Apple does not provide it so I will be uh, doing some tinkering and what I will be doing is actually removing their BIOS chip reading it, dumping it, then uh, opening it with hex editor then changing the serial number uh, then changing the serial number with the serial number that I have uh, on my uh, on my bottom cover so I'll just need to take a photo of this serial number so okay let's take a picture and uh, to be honest I don't even know whether this will work or not so well, we'll see. Okay. okay. So let's. Yeah, sorry for this. This is a bit inconvenient, I suppose. Shut down. Shut down. Okay. This might actually never turn on again, so that would not be nice, I suppose. Okay. So let's remove all the screws. Again, sorry for the mess, but as you can see, this is the place where I work. So, to be honest, I'm not even sure that this will work. That I will actually be able to find that serial number unencrypted or something like it anyway. So, ha, we'll see. Best case scenario, I have a, my old serial number, which is the one I have on this bottom cover. The worst case scenario, my Mac does not turn on. Yeah, that's not a good case. So, first thing I'll do is I will be removing the battery. Because I don't want, uh, well something to go wrong I will be discharging capacitors by pressing power button for uh, 10 seconds okay this looks reasonably easy okay now I do reckon that this one is BIOS and I need some tweezers and hot air so either I will be laughing out of joy or out of sadness but I will see The chip has been removed, which is nice. Now, step two, insert it into programmer. So, step two. Just a second, I think I've actually fucked something up or not. <sighs> I fucked something up. Fucking heat gun. Oh well. I can cry later, I suppose. <sighs> Bloody hell. 
there is no happy end to my MacBook saga. It would be actually funny if. Uh, so uh, I will be. I am actually pretty pissed off at the moment, to be honest. I will be reading this chip device. What the tech device type? Okay, this one read. I am reading it, and I'm, I will be verifying it as well. Okay, I will be saving it. File save to desktop, and I will be naming it Tutu, whatever. And I will be making a backup of that file. Copy here, just in case. Okay. Now I will be opening with my hex editor mm, and where did I actually install this thing? No I did, I think I did. Uh, yes. Just a second. <sighs> Computer problem files. Hex edit. Hex edit application, ok, close, open file, desktop, 22 bin and, ok, I need to find, just a second, I need to find my phone. Okay, so C1, I suppose. No, I'm gonna find a uh, find text. Basic find text C1 mm. Okay, and no. So I have actually, no, I have actually found the serial number, which is I think this one, and just to be clear, CDV3O, yes this is the serial number, so I will be changing this, which is the serial number, with my own serial number, so, glory awaits eh? Okay, so, yeah, sorry for the camera, but and this is not maybe the best, the best stand. Okay, C02, caps lock, C, okay, 02, JD. J D A L A L six D T six D T six D Y four four and I will be saving it I think so that's about it I will be starting my uh, Programming application and loading 22.bin. Okay, um, detecting device type. Okay, erase. That takes some time. And now program. Hmm. 
and verify it just to be sure. Okay. Well, glory awaits, I suppose. Oh, broken plastic. Bloody hell. I would say kids do not try this at home, but... Uh, good thing it's my Mac, so... Otherwise, there would be some pretty pissed off people. Well, to be honest, I'm one of them, but hey, what can you do? Just a second, I actually have a solution to this problem, which is in here. <sighs> what can you do? Mm -hmm. and just to apply a bit of a bit of flux. And I said bit, I really do mean a bit. Okay. And now the chip. Okay. Now let's see whether this will be okay or something. Well, let's see if this thing will turn on. For starters. Okay. To be honest, this procedure is quite easier with the PC. Especially HP. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Perfect. Now, not to melt everything else. looks cool but let's try to push it a bit okay so let's see if it's okay It does, it does look okay, so, well, glory or insanity awaits. Okay. Okay, it does look good. So 15 minutes later, the Mac is turning on. And this is actually me, so let me just enter my password. Help about this Mac. Awesome, I have my own serial number back. So this, as I said, it's not an easy way, but it is a way to do it. I hope you like this video. If you do, you can thumbs up and whatever. 
If not, you can thumbs down and well, whatever. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.